it's that time once again. It's time to take a look at one of the new 2019 blasters and uh, see what it actually can do. I'm not looking forward to this one because the Shadow ICS 6 is just pretty bad. This blaster really disappointed me with just how badly designed, in my opinion, a blaster could be. After all, Hasbro already knows how to do an internal magazine blaster. The Speedload 6, both of the Jakku slash Ray slash DL44 blasters. In fact, I'm probably forgetting some internal magazine blasters, but uh, wow, is this one just designed in a really terrible way. I mean, after all, there's really no reason for this not to be an internal magazine retaliator, but yet it's something completely different. The fact this blaster works with this weird, not quite dart breach up here, which I can only assume is there to, I guess, stabilize the dart when it's being loaded into the chamber, instead of being a breach that, you know what I mean? Like, why does this exist? They had this constantly open, very similar to a Speedload 6, but when you prime this back, you get this weird gap right in here, which means there's no barrel building up pressure or stabilizing velocity, it just has this guide which means your effective barrel length on this blaster is about an inch of plastic right here that the dart seats into. Like, terribly, I might add. And that's your option. And that means that this mechanism is kind of designed in a way that will make it nearly impossible for you to make a full length dart breach. Now, there is some ideas that maybe a half length dart breach would work because then you could extend this bolt back a little bit or what I'm calling a bolt right now. And then you could have half the magazine open for you stuffing darts down into it. And then that way when you pull it back, it could seal the breach completely and you have an extended barrel and it would load half things. So there's some thought there, but I just, this looks like a really terrible mechanism. The plunger tube looks absolutely small and tidy and I'm going to figure that out because we are going to open this thing up and do an autopsy on the good old Shadow ICS-6. So we're gonna use our trusty screwdriver here and start taking things apart, starting with the slide. One hidden screw right here, not really hidden because the shell's transparent, but you get what I'm saying. And that should be the end of that. We should be able to pull this apart. And we are in, and one of the LEDs is located on the wrong side of the shell. So, here is the internal magazine. Very, very similar to the internal magazine on the DL44 slash Jakku. Not as easily as removable, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame. Is that, like, what, is that, what is that, a lock? Some kind of magazine lock. There is, oh, no, no, that, okay, hold on. So this piece runs all the way back, and it looks like, yeah, there is what they jokingly think is a dart tooth in there. Let's see if we can't just pop out the plunger tube here. So here is the entirety of the plunger tube assembly, and I do believe that is a smaller size than the retaliator, but I will check. All right, well, I found what is a fire strike plunger tube, and uh, the fire strike plunger tube is bigger. Not by a lot, but by enough to make a difference. That's sad. That is actually a really, really bad thing. So theoretically, this will get less performance than a fire strike. A pistol that is about one fourth the size of this thing. Oh boy, that does not bode well. So the entire actual plunger tube assembly is held together by clips. Again, similar to a fire strike. So if I take these clips off, I should be able to just dump the air restrictor out, which indeed I can, much like I expected. Here's your 
dart peg right there. That fits snugly in there. That is not a lot of room for airflow, so you're definitely going to want to take this stuff out, which we will most likely do to see if we can't get any kind of performance gain out of this. The uh, That's a really nice rubber washer they have on there for a good seal. Uh, the draw is absolutely laughable. Okay, I just want to put this in perspective. This is the Zero X Shot Kickback. I have a video on this coming, but this thing you can find for $4 at Walmart. This advertises 90 foot ranges, and I was able to crony it at about 80 to 90 FPS using Zero X Shot darts, at about 72 to 80 FPS with uh, normal Elite darts. This thing has got that much draw. And yet this one is still very barely being able to, yeah, it's got almost less draw, almost. And to get this back end off, it looks like the same thing. You're gonna wanna use something to push those clips in. And many of you might be wondering why there was a big, this is a long shot plunger too. Yeah. There we go. That's the spring. Are you joking? It is actually screwed on. It looks like a dual plunger head. Yeah, I would say that's a retaliator sized spring. So, good news is you might be able to use a standard retaliator spring upgrade in it. Not much of one. Does that go in, the, oh my God, no, it requires such a dinky spring. Wow, but you're talking, it has to basically be that long in order for it to compress all the way because you can't get it up in there. So the entirety of your blaster seal is that. It's about that much. That's completely nothing for basically Let's see, that much. So it's even less than what I demonstrated. That's how much this blaster actually seals on a dart. Does the bolt seal at all? No, no seal. This is just pure garbage. And I should mention the fact that this thing is just a insane amount of springs and locks. And I don't know which of them is actually important or not. It's nothing but springs and locks pretty much everywhere. Like, you open this thing up and springs pop out left and right. I don't even know what way this went. <laughs> I hate everything about this blaster. Where was this? What did this do? This is... Okay, well, this thing isn't go... I don't even know how this went in there. Oh my gosh. So... When putting it back together, the plunger tube, these two things go downwards if you're having issues with that. Well, this part has to go like that, and this is what pulls it back, so it's gonna be up like that. I assume these are locked. Like, you can't tell what's a lock and what's not a lock in this blaster. There we go. I think that's how that went. I don't know. Probably going to regret that later. Oh! That looks completely off-center. Off At this point, I'm done. This is just the worst blaster to ever disassemble. Ah! Uh! Oh my gosh! This is all the way forward, but that's not. Oh my god! I'm done. I cannot deal with this anymore. It's garbage. It is full of locks, springs, little tiny things everywhere. It's got a smaller plunger tube than the freaking $5 fire strike. It's worse than anything. Don't take apart this blaster. It's been rolling for 35 minutes now. I am done. I will be lucky if I ever get this piece of garbage ever back together. Everything pops loose. I don't even know if this is important. Actually, I guarantee you this piece, it's just a trigger lock. It doesn't even need to be in there. 
This is a catch! What is all of this garbage in here? Why has it got like 14 locks and springs and screws? And... I'm done. I'm not touching this. It's going in a box and I'm gonna wait for some other poor soul to try to put this together. That's the autopsy on the stupid, stupid Shadow ICS 6. Do not buy. I don't care if you like it. It's not a freaking. I don't care if you like the blaster. It is not a recommendation to buy. That doesn't mean you can't like it, but that means I can't recommend it. You can't mod the thing. Oh, just done. I'm done. I'm done. It's not worth your time. It's not worth my time. Garbage.